NYPD needs our help. I'll say they do. Okay, earlier tonight, body of a jogger, Brad Norton, 32, was found in Central Park. He was disemboweled and his throat torn out. Yeah, and then last month, the body of Victor Guzman, 26, was also found in Central Park, and he had been what Rossi said. Any witnesses to either crime? No, none. You know, the wounds on both victims look like claw and bite marks from a large animal. Did the police check to see if any large predatory animals escaped from Central Park Zoo? Every last creature has been accounted for down to the last penguin. Well, there are people that think that having exotic pets like lions or tigers is a good idea. Maybe one escaped or was abandoned and is living in the park. A lot of places to hide. Central Park is 843 acres, including 58 miles of pedestrian paths, 36 bridges, seven bodies of water, six miles of roads, and five miles of bridle paths. If it is a wild animal, it's a job for animal control. Someone could have trained a pit bull or a large breed like a mastiff or an Akita to attack on command. I can uh, search uh, kennels and dog breeders in the area. This case reminds me of one from 97. Two teenagers killed a man in the park in almost the same way. Yeah, I was living in the Bronx then. I, I, it was uh, Daphne. Daphne Abdella and Christopher Vasquez. They slit a man's throat, gutted him, and then filled his body cavity with stones before they threw him in one of the lakes. Wild beast or human, either way, wheels up to 20. 